is Pam Dennison from Positive Dogs in Washington, New Jersey, pamdennison.com. And this is part two of how to develop and, um, sorry, menopause. Ah, menopause and COVID together. Oh my God, I'm sure you all get it. Um, how to develop non-food reinforcers. Now I spoke about it a little bit last time where you have to kind of pair food with all of these things. And I asked you all to pick five reinforcers that you'd like to develop, non-food reinforcers. So I picked five for today. So we have the nose target, which I talked about. We have a flip and a flop. We have a leg weave. We have petting and um, she particularly likes uh, this one behavior called wipeout. And it's really pretty funny. So what I wanted to show you is how to incorporate it. So I, I picked today, I picked those reinforcers specifically today because you can use them uh, in the obedience ring. So let's say we're going to heal. And so I'm going to, and obviously I can't heal very long, just I'll be able to get one or two steps in. And then I click and then flip, flip, touch. Good. And then I don't give a cookie. Okay. Get in. So we're doing some healing. Click and then a leg weave. Are you going to do it? There you go. Good. Good. Do it again. Do it again. One more. Keep going. She forgot. You forgot? That's it. Good boy. Good girl. And lie down. And wipe right out. Good. Now there, I did give her a cookie. So I'm kind of mixing it up. Mixing it up. Sometimes she gets a cookie after the reinforcer because Dreamer in particular, she is completely and utterly food motivated. She does not want anything else. She doesn't want toys. She doesn't want petting. She doesn't want anything except show me the money. That's what she wants. Okay. So it's harder for her. My other two, the boys, they don't care what you give them. They'll take anything. There's another reinforcer that you can do. I actually use this as a, uh, I sometimes will run from exercise to exercise. Get close. So it'll be, you know, exercise finish, and now maybe you have to go and set up for the figure eight. So I'll go, you ready? <laughs> run, 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 run. And then get close. Good. Yes, good girl. So you can do that too. Um, there's another little game that I use more in the real world where you faint right, faint left, and you get them to chase you. That's it, good. Because that's actually what I use for step number one for healing. So it is, it is, it's called Be the Stupid Bunny, but I won't get into the logistics of why, at least, you know, while I'm doing this. Get close. So don't be afraid to mix it up. You don't always want to do the same exact reinforcer, non-food reinforcer, in the same exact um, order. You want to make sure that you change it up and so that you become unpredictable. Because the whole point of this, oh, good girl, the whole point of this is it's variable reinforcement type, okay, um, with, I'm sorry, variable reinforcement schedule with reinforcement variety. And that's what we're doing now is reinforcement variety. Okay. So, come here, baby girl. All right. Flip. 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 Lie. Ah. Sit, calm down, sit, shake, yes, good girl, paw, yes, good girl, back, 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 
Good. So she likes to do the tricks. Stay. Good. Good girl. Petting. She loves to be pet when we're home and hanging out on the couch. You know, she just, she'll fall asleep in my arms. But during a training session, oh my God, forget it. Give me the food, right? Give me the food. Come. Good. Very good. Come. Sit. Good. And sometimes how you deliver the food, because and because placement of reinforcement matters. Um, but in that case, you know, I was working on getting a little straight front. She finally gave me a straight front. I clicked and then I tossed the cookies in between. Come. Good. That actually helps getting a straight front, but that's also another topic. So don't be afraid to mix it up. Touch, touch, touch. Good. Sit. That's it down. Sit. Sit. <laughs> She's crazy. Sit. Pause. That one. That's a good girl. Come. Flop. Flip. Lie down. Wipe out. Stay. Flop. Wipe out. Stay. Wipe out. Stay. Good girl. And that's hard for her, so I gave her the cookie on that one. Because being calm is not easy for Miss Dreamer. So that's what you can do. And you can do it. I mean, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm demonstrating it with using healing right now. But you can do it for any behavior. So, you know, whatever behavior you happen to see and you like and you click it, lie down. Well, I didn't like that one because I asked her to down. She down, but then she barked. So I looked at you because I don't want to look at her and reinforce her in any way. So we're going to, let's go. Go ahead and sit. Lie down. Damn, if I can't, <laughs> I can't reinforce that. So we have to start again. But you notice how I didn't start over instantly? I gave her a couple seconds of me ignoring her. Lie down. I don't know why she's barking on that. It's killing me. But, you know, my dogs aren't perfect. Would that they were. Let's try it again. See if you can actually be quiet. I mean, oh my God, a Sheltie being quiet. How silly am I? Lie down. Okay. So I'm going to adjust it slightly. Give her a little bit more direction. Sweetheart, you're killing me. You're killing me, Alice. Sit. Lie down. Stay. Touch. 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 Yes. Walk. Flip. Shake. Shake. That's paw. Shake. Good girl. Okay, whoops. So there was no cookie on that. And I have cookies in my hand. I typically don't. I, you know, sometimes I have food in my pocket, but most of the time I have the food off of me. Um, but doing this, it, it's it's smoother if I actually just have the cookies in my hand. Ready? She's been having problems with this particular one. Stand. Good. I'm going to give her, oops. I tried giving a cookie in position, but, but she's been going out. For some reason, her rear end has decided to go out that way after six years. Stand. Good. Very good. So I am giving her cookies for that. Good. Stay. Good. Stay. Touch. Touch. Good, very nice. Up, okay. good. So, if you have little dogs, you can use if they're as long as they're not crazy um, with jumping, jumping, jumping. My dogs are not, so I will use 
uh, jumping up as a reinforcer, as I do with all three of my dogs. So I'm just going to do a left pivot. Again, it doesn't really matter what I'm doing. I'm only doing little tiny things because, you know, there's not that much room. Touch. 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 Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, good girl. Very nice. And, you know, verbal praise, too. Come on. Well, Finney is barking in the bedroom, so that's why she's barking right now. So let's see, what can we do that takes no space? I don't know. Oh, I know we can do. Let's do this. Here. Stay. A little bit of a moving stand. Good girl. Stay. Good. Stay. So she's licking her lips a little bit, not real. She doesn't do this normally. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. So when you're petting your dog and you're using petting as a reinforcer, good girl. Come up, sit, stay. Don't do what my brothers used to do to me. You know, the old Saturday Night not Live noogie thing. Like, you know, don't do that. That's not a pet. That's really annoying. And the dogs that I see that... Uh, our pet that way are not real happy about it. You know, they're they're trying to get away from it. They're ducking their head. They're moving away. You know, give them a nice little massage. And oh, something say something else I forgot to mention. I haven't figured out if anybody's making any comments. Oh, I can see a few. Um, yeah, I wanted to figure out how to how I can actually see comments. And don't forget to let me know where you've. Uh, where you're coming from for watching this. So um, that's what I want you to do is take a behavior or two, a sit, a down, a competition behavior. It doesn't really matter what the behavior it is, what behavior it is. And whatever you click, if you like it, you'll click. And then reinforce in maybe two different ways and then give a cookie or one way and give a cookie or five different ways and don't give a cookie. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up because that's really the key. Um, and then you can get to the point, you're gonna start to see um, your healing behaviors, your attention uh, from the dog. You're gonna be able to see an enormous difference because you think that always giving a cookie, always giving a cookie, always giving a cookie, builds a stronger behavior. It doesn't. Okay. Variable reinforcement with reinforcement variety. And what we're doing now is, is reinforcement variety. And those are the ones that build the strongest behavior. And we also have this bizarre tendency because we're creatures of habit to always like maybe after five or six steps, we always reinforce five or six reps. We always reinforce five or six reps, we always reinforce. So maybe have somebody videotape you or count to yourself and think, oh God, she's right. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. So you want to be on a, on a different schedule as well, because that also schedules of reinforcement matter. Placement of reinforcement matters. Being vari variable and unpredictable matters. All of these things matter. Okay. And again, you can also, depending on where you are, you can use um, all sorts of different uh, reinforcers that are just out in the world, letting them sniff, letting them swim, letting them run, um, throwing a stick. I mean, anything, anything that's outside uh, that you think your dog might like, you can use as a reinforcer. Okay. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about. And it went in and out so fast that I'm going to look at the comments real quick. I'm going to see if I can get it back. Because sometimes I can. <laughs> um, let me see here. Some of these I can. What can you do if I have 50? I have 50 pound dogs, so I would like it if they didn't jump. Okay. So, Gail, you don't have to teach the dogs to jump. 
You know, if your dog is big and you don't, or your dog jumps a lot and you don't want them to jumping, so don't use jumping as a reinforcer. You know, just like you don't, you don't want to encourage sock stealing, so you don't use old socks as a reinforcer. Okay, um, you know, whatever you don't want your dog to do, don't use it as a reinforcer. Okay, um, just I'm, it's gone. I was going to say something else, and it's gone. And if I can get it back in a couple seconds, I will. And if not, uh, it'll, it'll just be gone forever. It'll be, I'll get it back as soon as I hit stop. That's basically it. Um, so let me just see if there's any other question that, uh, okay. No, I think we're good. All right. I'm going to end it for today. So, again, use lots of different types of reinforcers, write them down. What am I going to do? Always think ahead. This is something too. Always think ahead. Once you click and reinforce, think to yourself, what's your next reinforcer going to be? Okay. So I'll show you real quick. So my first reinforcer is going to be a hand target. My second reinforcer is going to be um, two spins and then maybe a flip. My third reinforcer is going to be a shake paw. Okay. Touch. Touch. See, I already forget what I just said. Touch. Honey, touch. Good. Flip. Come here. Come here. Honey, flip. Come here. Flip. Good. Flip. She went around the coffee table. Come here. Good girl. Okay, whoops. Sit. Good. Stand. I didn't like that one. Get in. Stand. I didn't like that one either. Okay, whoops. Good. That was better. Stand. You know what? We won't work on that. I'm gonna I've had three reps where I can't reinforce her because she's moving away from me. Um, so I'm going to go back to that later. So I forget, I already forget what the last reinforcer I'm going to do. So get close, honey. Honey, you get close? Good girl. So I'm going to just do a little pivot and then I will do a wipeout. You sitting? Come here. Get close. Good. Wipe out. Yes, good girl. And of course, you know, I would I would not use barking as a reinforcer. Just like some of you would never teach your dogs to jump up, I do not teach my Shelties to bark. How silly would that be? Because, you know, the theory would be, yeah, you teach them to bark and then you only give the cue when it's okay. Well, honey, they're going to bark all the time anyway. Case in point. <laughs> so, just my opinion. So, all right. I will see you. I haven't decided what day. I've seen about maybe doing this once a week and then have different topics. Um, but I'll announce it on Facebook, on my Facebook page, and also um, on my personal page as well. But, again, my website, www.pamdennison.com. And, oh, and by the way, I have an entire chapter uh, in my book, You Can Train Your Dog, about uh, variable reinforcement type with reinforcement variety. And this comes as an online class, uh, paperback, and it also comes in ebook format as well. And you can see all of that on my website. And in fact, the online class is starting May 15th, so a couple days. Um, so, you know, feel free to ask any questions or whatever, and I will, I can always answer them after the fact. So thank you so much for joining me again, Pam Dennison, Positive Dogs, Washington, New Jersey, and have a good week. Thanks. Bye.